Hello, all you wonderful, wonderful people in the Emotion Co. group. Um, I have been thinking for a while about um, doing a video on uh, helping people get a little more insight on how to muscle test supplements. Because I know a lot of times when you're doing sessions for people um, or yourself, um, it's something you can end up doing quite a bit. And I just want to um, show you how I do it, and maybe it's helpful to you. Maybe what you're doing already works, but I want to give you just a little, a few distinctions and um, for me, one thing I find is, um, I find it very helpful to, um, not just test supplements individually, but test things together as protocols and see how combining different things, um, changes the result. Um, for example, um, you know, <clears throat> you might have, uh, you know, a lot of times people have um, a major need for properly digested protein. So you might take a couple of, um, this is what I currently use, seems to work for me. But you know, there's a lot of different types of protein out there. And so, um, and there's also not, nutrition isn't just a matter of uh, what you're swallowing, it's a matter of what you're digesting and absorbing, if that makes sense. And so you might take, you might find a protein supplement um, that your body seems to like. It goes, yes, we like it. Okay. So for me, one of the things I do is I'm very particular in how I word things. Okay. Um, so I might go, okay, this is one scoop, and I might say something like this: My daily optimal amount of this protein powder includes, right? So not is, but includes, includes. One scoop, yes. Includes two scoops, yes. Includes three scoops, yes. Includes four scoops, yes. Includes five scoops, no. So I'm like, ah. So five, four, maybe four scoops a day, right? Well, the next question is, um, a good thing to go is, can my body absorb it, right? Because sometimes you'll see a, a disconnection between um, what your body actually wants from a supplement and whether or not it can use it. Does that make sense? So, um, for example, with foods and different things, a lot of times you So you might, if you go, okay, my body really likes it, but it can't absorb it, you might um, also hold perhaps a bottle of enzymes with it um, and then go say something like this while taking the proper amount of these enzymes, my body can absorb this product. Yes. Or you might even find that, for example, maybe if you combine, hold the enzymes and the protein together and say, well, taking the proper amount of enzymes, my daily optimal amount of this protein, and it may actually quite a bit change the amount of protein you need for that. Does that make sense? So that's just one suggestion on like protein powder. Sometimes um, what I do is if, is if someone I'm working with has like a whole bunch of supplements, right? And, uh, and maybe you want to be in a very neutral manner, say um, what their body actually needs. Maybe we can actually reduce the amount of supplements we're using, right? Um, a lot of times what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a particular substance that their body seems to want a whole bunch of, maybe for a short time, but like, yes, we got to have this stuff, right? So occasionally what I'll do is I'll take um, and I'll spread all their, put a, all their supplements in a big pile, divide them in two piles and just say this, um, the, uh, the most helpful supplement for my body is in this pile. No, it's in this pile, okay? Then take this pile, second pile in half, divide it in half. It's on the left, it's on the right. And you can keep dividing things in half until you can find out of all their supplements that they have which is the one their body wants absolutely the most, okay? So if you find out which um, supplement their body wants the most, then again, just say, okay, my daily optimal amount of this product includes one a day, includes two a day, includes four a day, includes five a day. Um, if it is a fairly high amount, for example, this product is great at um, producing intercellular glutathione, and sometimes when you've got a lot of inflammation, your body wants a lot of it, okay? So if you were to look on the label of something and it said maybe the 
the label amount is like six a day, but your buyer's like, oh, I want 15 a day, 16 a day, right? That's kind of like a crisis period. Does that make sense? Like why your body sometimes needs a lot of a certain supplement for a certain period of time and then it'll be fine with it, right? So if, for example, someone's body said, oh, I want 15 a day of this product, I might say um, my crisis period. So we know how much we want. The question is for how long? Does that make sense? So I might say something like um, my crisis period for 15 a day of OGF includes one day because that's a known thing. It has to be at least one day, right? Includes one day, includes one week, includes two weeks, no. Includes one week, yes. Includes 10 days, yes. It is 10 days. So sometimes what you'll find with people if they're having a certain health challenge is um, you may find that there's a couple supplements that they want a lot of, but just for like a specific time period. It's almost like their body says, hey, um, we need to help and we need to like a lot of help, but we don't need it for super long. Like if you're super aggressive with certain supplements for 10 days and then we can get over this hump, right? Now keep in mind, say for example, on this product, it used to be like for my wife, six a day really didn't do much for her. Nine a day was like life changing, right? So one of the big things with supplements is getting the correct protocols right can be extremely helpful, okay? And also sometimes on how you combine them. Uh, for example, you know, you have, um, if you have a couple different supplements that are very helpful for balancing hormones, right? Um, like this product right here um, has some uh, phytosterol, so like some plant hormone building blocks and some glandulars to really help with um, balancing hormones, right? If someone w needed a very large amount of this, one thing you might do is go, okay, well, there are also things called hormone cofactors, right, that work together. So if my body needed a huge amount of this, I might also grab like a fish oil and or magnesium, right? And maybe say, okay, normally my body wants six of these, right? And then just hold all three of those together and say, while taking the proper amount of fish oil and magnesium, my daily optimal amount of this particular product, well, it only comes out to three a day all of a sudden. Does that make sense? So what you want to look for is, is see if things work together synergistically. Okay. So it may be um, cheaper for me to use a little bit of fish oil and some magnesium in conjunction with a product that balances my hormones. Um, rather than just use a ridiculously high amount of that particular product um, because my body's lacking the, the, the team members, so to speak, or the cofactors to do that, right? So a lot of times what I might do is I might start, um, for somebody who might start adding products to a, what you would call a protocol, okay? So I may start off with, okay, this is the, First, the most important product my body wants, okay? So I'll decide how much I want of that, right? I'll set it aside. I might find the second product my body wants, okay? Then what I'll say is, I'll say while taking the proper amount of this first product, my daily optimal amount of the second product includes one a day, includes four a day, right? So instead of testing them separately, right? You, since you're going to be taking them together, um, when you must start muscle testing the second product and third product and fourth product, include them in the mix of a protocol that can, that includes the first couple ones you've already put in there. Does that make sense? And typically you'll find um, that the amounts change. Anyways, so um, just some quick suggestions on that. Hopefully that's helpful for you. Again, for me, I think the wording is important. Um, the wording I use again include is would be like uh, my daily optimal amount includes one a day, includes two a day, includes three a day, includes four a day. If it's six a day, you might also want to find out, you know, certain supplements are better to be taken at different times a day. Um, six all at once, no. Uh, three twice a day, no. Two, three times a day, yes. Does that make sense? 
So sometimes different products, your body wants all of it at a certain time of day because it's optimal for um, getting certain systems of your body to work. Sometimes your body wants it spread out throughout the day. Does that make sense? Um, and that's about it. So if anyone has any questions on that, let me know. If this is helpful, let me know. And I might do a couple other videos like this um, for all you wonderful people out there doing lots of muscle testing for people.